Alright, everyone, the most homeless place in California. Let's check, or America, rather. Let's check it out. This is the most homeless place in America per capita. Why? Hey, bro. Washington, D.C., where prosperity meets power, where history mingles with modernity. To outsiders, the city may seem to be the example of achievement and opportunity, but is it really? Homelessness is a huge problem in Washington. Hey, Washington of all places, guys. I keep watching news and there's always news reports about like the homelessness of where I live, but I did not know Washington, like literally Washington, where there's Washington DC guys, like what is going on? It's impossible, right? I did not know this place of all places, guys. What the f A crisis of homelessness. Do you think DC's doing a good job of combating the issue of homelessness? Wasn't the mayor just given $50 billion to deal with the homeless situation? Where's that money? This is a very good system. You just have bad players in here. Bro. One second, guys. Uh, I apologize. Bad players in here. Guys, I've been homeless for 11 months. If you watch my previous videos, it was not fun. That's all I'm saying. What's up, everybody? We are currently in Washington, D.C., the most homeless place in America per, per yeah. capita. I'm with my good friend Tommy G. We're at McPherson Square right now, which used to be a hub of homelessness. More than 70 people are now living in the McPherson Square camp. As you can see, it's cleared out. It's fenced off. There's no one here anymore. But recently, this was a tent city. Today, Legit tent city. Dozens. Yeah, they always like clear out areas. Then we got to move somewhere else. That's what happened where I live as well. Li used to live. Experiencing homelessness, we're forced out of McPherson Square. And we're gonna find out today what life is like here in D.C., the most homeless place in America. Like literally, I was getting like, you know, assistance back then, like when uh, before they cleared it out, and then you know we kind of lost the community after that, bro. It, it sucked. This is known as one of the most homeless places per capita in the country. Right. Does that surprise you? No. This is the only place where you can use your voice heard. There are good people out here. Why do you think this is the most homeless place per capita? Because there's a lot of opportunities here. There's a lot more compassion and empathy here, too. You have people in other states that just look, walk up to you and say, die. I chose to come here. You know what about me? Yeah, man, I experience, you know, in California, rather, there's a lot. There was empathy, but there wasn't empathy. That's all. You know, it wasn't the nicest place, but it wasn't the worst place. It was just like both. Let me turn this light on. Oops. My PTSD. I was scared of bridges. I used to live under that bridge. And I was tired of being scared of bridges. I was uh, in the first Gulf War. The one that counted. <laughs> we heard the veterans could get apartments for free around here. Is that true? Like Gulf War, guys. Uh, that was us. Guys, where I live, there's no, like, br bridges we can camp under, really. It's just way too close to the freeway. Yeah, it's very true. So what keeps you from getting a free apartment uh, rather than staying out I, here? I have an apartment. But you still stay in a tent out here? Yeah. Why I, is that? Why not? I mean, you know, uh... Let me tell you why homelessness in metropolitan cities would never be fixed. You got regular unemployment, you had a pandemic unemployment. Every homeless person out here was getting $785. You would think that every homeless person out here being a house buyer. On top of the free money. Wait, what? So you get center 85 a month? Hold on. We had a pandemic on employment. Every homeless person out here was getting seven hundred and eighty-five dollars a You were dang bro. It's more than I make, like seven times more than I make. I think that every homeless person out here would be in a house. Actually I make nothing. I make nothing, guys. House buyer. On top of the free money. You got free clothes, shelter provided to you, the city gives you tents for free, the churches to come out every Saturday and Sunday, you give out gift cards and all Dang. The church the church never gave me gift cards. They give me money though occasionally. All of these things, right? Ninety percent of that is dispersed, goes back into drugs. We're homeless by not gonna lie, that's what I spent my money on back then. Choice. Next, we spoke to a man who had been living in Fort Reno Park, but was recently displaced by the homeless camp cleanups. On December 16th... And they straight up came there, they annihilated, they told everybody to leave, they threw everything away, guys. Department Human Service... That, that was like our community, bro, like, we had nowhere to go, I couldn't find where we relocated, I guess we just like all spread out across, bro, it was ter terrible, bro. Yeah, we went to like, I moved to the city part after that. Services, National Park Services and Park Police came and evicted all of us. There was a 68 year old man, there was a pregnant girl, and you know, a, a guy who was trying to kick heroin. 
So 70 people are displaced, okay? How many of those got apartments? I'm not sure. Three. We've been told by several people that the free housing was very good. Do you disagree with that? I'm on the vouching list. Voucher list. I've been on it for six months now. Just everything's starting to roll. They want to re-displace me. <laughs> I've already been displaced. They want to displace me even more. And, and the question remains, where are we supposed to go? With nowhere to go, many homeless people sought shelter within tent cities, hidden in the woods. Behind me right now is probably the closest thing to a tent city that we found. It's pretty camouflaged by the trees and the brush. It's hard to see from the road. It's hard to know this would even be here. We have uh, several tents layered with tarps. We got big five gallon jugs of water right there. Coolers to keep things cold. And right here, you have a baseball bat. I guess you could assume this could be for protection. And it just keeps going back, laundry bins. If found, please return to Amsterdam Hall. Over here we have a scooter that is being used as a laundry rack. You gotta get this message out. You know, it's not just, you know, they're, they're thinking that if you close down an encampment, okay, one, where are the people gonna go? Okay, two, look at the message they made of the encampment closing so far. Noma, they killed someone. In the Noma neighborhood, city crews were clearing tents there. When people on scene say a small- Damn. Yeah, dang, bro, like- I used to sleep next like, to a dumpster and this, and this like, the, the guy that, like, you know, cleans up the dumpsters came out of nowhere, man. And he, uh, he lifted it up while sleeping behind it, guys. Small bulldozers started to clear a tent with a man still inside. They don't know where half of those people are. The government relies on Miriam's Kitchen. What's up, Padre? And other private organizations like uh, Georgetown Ministry you know, to, to, to do that. Uh, Padre, I, I don't speak Spanish, sorry. Heavy work. Wasn't the mayor just given $50 billion to deal with the homeless situation? Where's that money? Affordable housing is now a reality in, in today's economic society. I mean, and they say, get a job. Okay, I'll get a job. My problem is keeping the job, <laughs> you know? I mean, honestly, you know, it's not just society. Yeah, sorry, don't speak Spanish. Not much. Society's also me. We're the voice of the What's up, LKZ? City. That's the reason why they're trying to get rid of us, and there's a reason why there's people helping us. There's a reason why it's so hard to get rid of us. To some people, it seems like an issue that might never be solved. What do you think about that? Well, they, those people, they need to take some iodine and some ginkgo bilbo. Guys, what is that for? What? I haven't heard somebody talk about iodine since, like, Alex Jones, man. Misconceptions about homeless people you'd like to clear up? I don't know what ginkgo bilbo does. Yeah, they're not all drug addicts. Or well, I'll tell you what, let me change that. Y'all got a lot of fucking nerve calling these people drug addicts when y'all do sugar, when y'all drink milk. You like sugar, you like milk. Those are dangerous drugs, dangerous drugs. We're the only species on this planet that drinks another species milk. Just remember, jealousy is only corrupted admiration. What really needs- Yeah, he's true, he's, he's right there, right there. We talked about is this trank situation. The trank, I learned about that in Kensington, Philadelphia. It's coming down here into D.C. now? Oh, yeah, it's in D.C. And just as soon as they mix the trank with that boot, there's going to be dying. <laughs> and Department of Human Services wants to worry about me living in a camp. You know, why don't you worry about what's about to happen? The tsunami of shit that's about to happen. Why is the media not covering the opioid epidemic and the trank epidemic? Not, not only can you not even... That's what are you talking about? You can get heroin anymore. You can't even get clean fentanyl anymore. You know, and the thing about trank is that it's... They're like, oh, well, you can use Narcom. No, you can't. It's not opioid. The thing about Trank is that there is no counter agent. What is something that- I, I never tried. I only tried Pimson all once and I'm never trying it again, guys. It could be done um, to help uh, the, the homelessness situation. Like, are there any so solutions? I know it's not an easy solution, but are there any solutions? No. <laughs> I'll be here to catch you when you get here. Everyone's just a paycheck or two away, right? Right, right. It's not just a mental health thing. It's I like GTA 5, I haven't played it. Not just a, a not that much. person's lazy, it's not just, you know, it's any, a, a convolution of crap can just happen and you find yourself out here. We the richest poor people because you have organizations out here. Like right now, 4 o'clock, Miriam's. They have gourmet chefs that make food for, uh, for the homeless. Right now we're on our way to Miriam's Kitchen. We're going to see if we can catch the... Uh... Guys, when I was homeless, all I did was get, like, money, get it to me, and then I would, um... Go and buy like Wendy's. Wendy's was the only place that let me shop there, guys. Only place. Dinner rush there, I suppose. How do you shower out here? Uh, well, there's places that some places that give showers, like uh, Georgetown Ministry. I don't think I showered one time, guys. Not all. only time I showered was when I went back home. Take a shower there. 
I go to swim, I go to the pools. The street noise, how do you sleep with such loud noise right by you in the middle of the night? You zone out. What came first? Chicken egg, do I get? Okay, I, I will uh, check it out after this video. Fucked up because I'm an egg or I get? Yeah, those, those cars are scary. There's quite a bit of like scary cars. Am I ag because I'm out here, you know? We arrived at Miriam shortly after they had closed and spoke to a man about the dangers of getting caught up in this system. You know, the biggest shelter in the world is what? The biggest shelter in the world is what? Welfare. Because you in a place. I personally think there should uh, be a universal, like, basic income, guys. Not gonna lie. That's that would help us all out. You cannot own. And then you in a household where there's a parent missing. So the last two weeks out of the month, there's no money, there's no food. Because some states don't have pantries where you can go get groceries. Just because you give a sandwich out or buy a bike, that's not helping. But a shelter is built for you to stay in there. Because after 90 days, they're supposed to put you in a place. But we used to have a shelter and they closed it down, bros. They don't. Even when you ain't there, they getting paid for that bid. As long as your name is in the system. How do you think drugs get to the hood? The government bring it. Because they want you to die instead of getting your money. And schools need to change their system. Because schools don't teach you responsibility when you are going through high school to be an adult. They teach you how to fail, man. The system is created to fall. It takes the young... Are my kidneys healthy? I think they are. Some people, like y'all, they sit at a table with ideals that's going to make things work. If you had one wish, what would it be? That no children or elderly would be outside. Right now, there's more children and more grandmothers on the street right now. Hey man, homeless, this is not fun. Just straight up. It might be see. It might be cool to seem like you know no matter or whatever, but it, I personally had a very bad experience. one of my worst experiences went while homeless, man. Because you know how cars are uh, dangerous and stuff. I got hit by, by one, guys. And it ain't supposed to be like that. So with the sun setting, we left Miriam's kitchen to look at one of the last remaining park encampments yet to be cleared out by NPS. So yeah, this is Candy Center encampment. We're around for a good minute, but yeah, this is where this is where people end up after like they do things like McPherson's quick close on McPherson. You know, again, what are we supposed to do? You know, where are we supposed to go? We're gonna end up on people's front lawns. Mayor Bauer, did you get that? You know, fifty billion dollars from Biden, right? Why is this? I'm good, brother. Still happening. <laughs> so with that fifty billion dollar grant, you see no difference whatsoever. Uh, what's what's what's? I've seen no difference in what they're doing. Even and the most money I got from somebody was like forty dollars, and that was like in my first month of being homeless. Somebody gave me $40. And with the ever-growing resources DC has for the homeless, the city's rates of homelessness have only climbed since last year. Bro, oh, we're close second, guys. I live in California. That's why they always talk about homelessness, because we're, we're actually second place. Yo, thank you for the follow. After spending millions of dollars on shelters, housing, and vouchers, Mayor Bowser quietly released the results of... Damn, she got Bowser. Bowser is her name, guys. The most recent... Yo, PDR, LKZ, thank you for the follow. Great time count for those experiencing homelessness in the nation's capital. For the first time since- I'm good, brother. Since 2016, the number of people living on the streets has gone up. Is there any avenue for the homeless out here to make money? Does panhandling work? What, what are the, what are Again, the alternatives? Remember we were talking about this living in four different standards, dude. How do you save for money when you're living in a day-to-day -day standard? Right. Guys, you gotta buy your water, unless you can find like a fountain or something. Actually, there there was one fountain, one fountain that was on the side of this building. You know, when you're living day to day, how do you how do you plan for that? Because yeah, you don't plan for your future if you're living like that, right? If you don't have a future, why well, plan for it? <laughs> That's sad, isn't it though? If you had one wish, what would it be? That I wasn't here. You know, that this wasn't happening, but it is, and I am. Uh, I don't know what those are. So making the best of it. That's what you can do. That's all you can do. God bless you, brother. All right, man. What were your takeaways from today, Brandon? For the general population, clearing places like McPherson Park seems to uh, help the issue of homelessness, at least topically, right? But then when you go into these uh, harder to find areas, you see that the homeless people are still here. They're just not in plain sight, so. I guess that leaves the viewer to decide, like, is that good, is that bad? I think it's good for the general population, but a lot of the homeless people seem to think it was a bad thing. If, if we get displaced from uh, the places that can help us, such as businesses, we're gonna have to walk farther 
to and from those businesses and that kind of sucks. I think it's one of those issues that if this was happening in front of your apartment building, in front of your workplace, there's feces, there's needles, you want it cleared out. I think that's undeniable. And anyone that says different, I, I also agree. Invite people over to live in your house and see how you feel. But the fact is, this is an issue that will never go away. As tough as this issue is, this seems the best way to handle it that I've seen so far. So I applaud Washington, D.C. I'm thankful we got to meet some of its citizens and people, and they got to tell our story. And um, I'm happy that we got to have this experience. And if you were happy to watch my recent collaborations with Tommy G, commemorate the experience by buying our most dangerous t-shirt collaboration, available right now at thebuckinghamshop.com. Cool. Check them out, guys. It doesn't really matter what I do, because I'll always stay stuck as a fool. I'll never be cool. Don't get... All right, guys, that's a video. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, snap. He's got some Patreons. The only issue I have with their videos is how short they are. And you know, we just need quality. You know, they say you can only have... You can have quality, but not quantity. Or something. Uh, editing growth from I the Man's... It. I know, right? I will go through the same transformation, guys. If not... You know, still be doing my reactions. That's fine, though. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. I do all my reactions live on Twitch, so if you want to come say hi, you're more than welcome. Later, guys.